If you want to learn jewellery design, you can do so using Blender 3.9 and parametric smart objects on Udemy. Uh, as part of the course, uh, you'll uh, use Blender 2.9 to create with parametric smart objects, which you can simply join together to create rings and pendants. We'll show you how you can set up the Blender interface to work with jewellery. We'll talk about the difference between meshes and 3D and 2D curves. We focus on using curves on this course, not meshes. Uh, we'll show you how you can create complex shapes like this, uh, an earring and a pendant, very simply by drag and drop. And um, We'll talk about the difference between Cura, Chitu Box and using Shapeways to 3D print. We'll show you how you can calculate the weight of an object that you've created, a personalised pendant in this case. We'll show you how you can make your own parametric smart objects. Uh, 2D one, this one, a dove, and uh, we can show you how you can use Inkscape to actually import images and convert them to meshes. We'll show you how you can make your own emojis uh, and how to add rings to uh, your objects so that uh, you can attach them to chains. We'll show you how to emboss, how to create uh, an Enipa necklace like this in a couple of minutes, and Enipa earrings. Uh, and font earrings in this case that are tapered. We'll show you how you can personalise a necklace, in this case with the name Alison in it. Uh, and again, we'll show you uh, how you can make your own personalised earrings with uh, which you can put gems in. And uh, we'll use Jewelcraft to actually do this, and there's a number of different ways in which we can do it, including adding a whole string of gems around a heart shape. So uh, this is what's uh, in the Udemy course. Jewellery design using Blender 2.9 parametric smart objects. All the software is available for free. You can go to fluiddesigner.co.uk and download it all for free. Thank you for watching this.